hello there welcome to yet another video from the prefix ba youtube channel in this video which is episode 5 we're going to speak about release and sprint planning in the jira tutorial for business analyst uh, video series in the past few episodes we have covered how to create a project in jira how to create the epics and how to create the user stories and in this video we're going to see how we're going to uh, do a release planning and sprint planning from the product backlog so we got a lot of a lot of things to cover we can get started but before that i have also included the links to the previous episodes in the description box as well in case uh, if you have not already checked you can uh, check it out so that you follow the story so far and how we have reached to this point in the jira dashboard so before we go into the tool just a quick recap on the user story map the list of user stories and epics which are trying to create again the application which we are trying to build as the online home delivery service and uh, we had four epics uh, which talked about the browse feature the online ordering feature payment feature and tracking feature and list of 14 stories uh, if you're not already seen the user story mapping video i would highly recommend you you go ahead and check it out again the link would be in the description box it will tell you how this user st story map was arrived at. And then we, there was also a section which talked about prioritization. And uh, if you see the, the arrows release one and two and three, the user stories are grouped uh, accordingly based on the business value. Release one is the MVP or the minimum viable product. So this is the minimal uh, minimum features uh, which we can go live or roll out to public. This particular product so these are the 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 stories which are um uh, you know grouped across uh, you know like grouped as release one or the mvp so let's see how we can uh, uh, arrange this accordingly in in the jira tool so let me quickly flip back so again this is the product backlog let me just make it bigger so there are 14 user stories uh, which correlates with our user story map here and it's tagged accordingly to the appropriate epics the four epics so it's, it's all here sorry about the light the noise i think we are having heavy heavy thunderstorms the side uh let me quickly continue back and uh, so this particular is is a list of uh, user stories and epics and let's start uh, tagging them and rearranging according to the releases so in order to create a release you have to click on the versions tab here and then create a version you can name it release one description start date again or optional you can tag it later so you create create this one as release one so release one is uh, created so the next step is to map the the user stories according to the the release one so group by category search by keyword so these are all both release one item so how to do the tagging is go to the go to the user story so this is the one which we had written earlier and then there would be uh, there would be a field called fix version so here go and tag it to release one that's it so this is tagged to release one so similarly i'm going to do it for the rest of the items in our uh, user story map so that it's all tagged fix version release one then the other one was registration login add and remove from cart so let me tag that quickly So I'm just quickly tagging all of uh, these items as uh, the ones which are belonging to MVP as release one. That's just taking a bit. Yeah, so add in cart. So, yep, this is the one for the ordering epic. And then for payment, we had two items, uh, payment by cash and uh, debit credit card as the, release one item or MVP. So let me quickly tag that. So 
I'm just tagging the other one as well. Fix version release one. Okay, done. So the last part is on the tracking feature, which is having two feature, two uh, tracking epic, which has two user stories, ETA and support to be tagged to release one. So let's quickly check, click on ETA and tag it accordingly. Yep, and then the support was also a release one story. Okay, so now we have tagged all those items as a release one. So now what, what this gives you uh, or gives us is basically, so we have the complete product backlog, but we have tagged the uh, MVP items, which is release one, we call it here. So if you got to look at all the items which are from, for, which belong to that particular uh, release or, you know, for tracking, you can go to the release tab here, releases tab here. And if you see here, now you will have something called release one. So this is what we have created. So if you click on this, you will be able to see all the nine items, which are, you know, as indicated in the user story map, all of them belong here. So this is how you do uh, kind of release planning. So in order for uh, us to release this particular version of uh, the product to the public, all these items needs to be delivered. Similarly, uh, the remaining five items can be tagged accordingly to release two and release three, and then uh, it can be tracked to closure. So this is the release planning. Uh, but in order for us to develop this we, we won't be able to complete all of these in a single single uh, sprint. So there would be multiple sprints required to deliver uh, you know, these uh, items. So in order to do that, you have to create or you need to create a uh, sprint backlog and then start running the sprints. So that is the second part of the video, which is a sprint backlog. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the button called create sprint. It'll create you this particular space. So basically this is your uh, product backlog and this is your sprint backlog. So if you if you remember again, I've covered it in one of, our, in one of my previous videos, which is the event ceremonies in agile methodologies. We have four, the sprint planning, daily scrum, sprint review and sprint retrospective. In the sprint planning, we craft a sprint goal and a plan to achieve it. The outcome is basically the sprint backlog. So this is event number, major event number one in Scrum methodology, which is a sprint backlog, which is what is indicated here. So ideally, you there would be a sprint planning meeting with all the Scrum Scrum master, product owner, and all the Scrum team involved, and uh, they will be discussing among uh, these items which are tagged for release one, which would be, you know can be taken up for the, this particular sprint. So it again depends on the capacity of the team. There would be a, a estimation exercise done. And then based on based on that, they would be able to uh, take in, into a sprint. So let's say the sprint has an um, estimation, uh, like a capacity of 100 story points. Again, this is the first sprint for the team. They might not know, so they are, taking it based on some previous experience. So let's say 100, 100 story points is the capacity of the sprint. So there will be a estimation activity done. So let, let's quickly look at that and see how, how we can do it here. So browse and search. I'm just going to put it as uh, 20 story points. So this again involves development, testing effort, all the effort um, required by the team to get it to the done stage. These are the definition of done as agreed earlier. So I'll put it as 20 story points. Then I'll put the search feature as 30 story points. Similarly, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the registration one. I'll put it as uh, 40 story points. Again, I'm just giving some random numbers, but in an ideal world, this would be done in um, in consultation with with the with the team okay so that gives us 20 30 40 20 i'll i'll quickly go to the the next one add and remove i'll i'll give it as 70 story points then i'll 
yeah so you get the idea basically what i'm trying to do so all this estimation has to be done and you can see the estimations once it is added this uh, added it will be visible again here in the product backlog so i was telling uh, um, you know 100 100 story points is the capacity of a sprint uh, the team can look at things and then they can see which can be done in sprint one again there will be a dependency for example registration feature should be available before the logit can work so that dependency should also be discussed and considered while taking items into a sprint so let's say let's go with first one registration so it's a 40 story point so this is one thing would definitely require then the login feature 60 story points then uh, we'll we'll put in uh, we'll put in search by keyword Okay, and then we have still 10 story points capacity. Uh, I'm just going to tag this for demonstration purpose. This, this feature of uh, accepting cash is just uh, 10 story points. Yep. Okay. So, yep, so that is 10 story points. I'm gonna move it here. So that gives us the sprint capacity of 100. So this is your product backlog and this is your sprint backlog. Okay, so this is how the sprint planning is done. And uh, uh, once the team has committed to this, it, it would be usually like a two week sprint basically. And uh, it, it varies from company to company, it may be two or it may be four weeks, but it all depends uh, on that and then the capacity is determined. So this is in our example, we created a first sprint uh, with uh, one, two, three, four stories uh, with around 100 story points. Okay, so that is how the sprint planning is done. So once you have put it here, you can click on start, start sprint. You can keep uh, ABC sprint number one duration is two weeks. You can put it in the future because the, the planning of a sprint happens much earlier. Let's give a start date of tomorrow and then two week sprint and what is the sprint goal so you can you can type in the major features which you are trying to get in so registration and uh, login are the the key features yeah which are looking to deliver Okay, again, I'm just gonna just just uh, some text habit, but again, you can put it accordingly when when you do it for re uh, real, and then you click on start. This would start the sprint, and you would have an active sprint. Uh, earlier, if you had gone, it would be nothing, but if you go there uh, into active sprints uh, uh, button, you would be able to see the Kanban board. It's a simple Kanban board to do in progress and done. And in the sprint, the items will be moved from here into in progress and it will be taken to done. So that we're going to cover in the next video. We're going to see how the progress happens, how the daily scrum helps and also the sprint uh, review and sprint retrospective. So we're going to cover all of those in the next video. But I think in this video, you got a very good understanding how release planning and sprint planning happens. Uh, again, once again, thanks for watching this video till the end and uh, stay tuned until the next episode for continuing this uh, journey project to, to closure.